Oh, what would I do? My little sister was hooked on pills and could not be found. My best friend was crushing on me. The packies were on my case. Hendrix was slipping in and out my consciousness and wanted to help, but was unable to come down to earth. Freddy was being Freddy. Black was hollowing out humans. Humans were being human. And my thirst was relentless. Oh, I really had to get away from it all, so I retreated to our little nest up on the fourth floor and stayed there with Maze. Wasn't the first time Bless and I got tangled up like we did the other day, no. We had made out before, but I really thought it was for kicks, and maybe it was back then when we were new friends and made out and I thought, just for fun. Now she was serious. She was insolent like she owned me. Ever since I got with Maze and all, how could I not fall for him? His skin, touched by the sun, straight up glowing in the spare of the air days. His clothes tore up, as he often was. Shiny stars all about him from the metal tops he ripped off deceased and abandoned Bix we found in the streets. Hell, who wouldn't fall for that? Time glanced off us and fell into a wrinkle in the Hayward fault. The emblem of youth was ours and we milked it. I had to get away and stay with him, make my world smaller. So I did. Without him, the city seemed dark sometimes, like curtains down. I had to have him. I stayed there for days behind the thick wooden door chipped at its edges and painted over countless times, a decisive line of light drawn between me and the world. They could tap, tap away to their heart's content, the hollows. I didn't care anymore, so long as no one tried to kick through the deadbolt. Maze went out on the streets while I stayed behind. I fought the thirst with meditation and waited for my love to come home. Hendrix was very disruptive, glomming into the room through the walls and beckoning to me. He couldn't understand why I didn't want to follow him to the fear. Finally, he gave up and watched me from the window, outside looking in, the corners of his smile gone almost flat.